Welcome to Stonebox TV. I'm Richard. I'm here at NAM 2016 on the Tech 21 booth with Andrew. The uh, hi. hi, you're right. Um, Andrew is the owner of Tech 21, and he's got a product out which a lot of people uh, have been asking for. We've seen the fly rig. Um, we've seen the Richie Cotts and the OMG uh, version of the fly rig. Both products for guitarists um, and very, very popular. Several effects in one very, very small chassis. A lot smaller than it looks in the photos if you've ever seen one in the flesh. But we've now got the base version. So um, Tech 21's always done very well with bass players. Um, it, all your effects have been very, very popular. You've now put several of them into one box, but if, just tell us a bit about what you've done. Well, um, we get warranty cards usually. Uh, they register their products and then they put their little comments, what they like to see. And everybody was asking for a bass fly rig because bass players travel around. Many times they don't take their amplifier with them because it's too big. So they get a back line. They don't know what they're going to get. So they know that the Sansom can give them their own tone, the sound that they always like to have. But they also like to have certain effects. So number one for a bass player usually as an effect is a compressor. So we included a compressor. It's an FET, FET based compressor. Goes back all the way to the 60s, you know, when they used FETs to compress the signal. It's more musical, it has a very fat sound. And we also included a tone control with that so you can adjust the balance between a high and a low end, how you compress it. It's a pre-compressor tone control, all right? Then the other thing they ask for, everybody's asking for a tuner. Give me a tuner because I don't want to have a separate pedal or I don't want to have the clip-ons because they don't always register correctly. So we have a tuner and the tuner mutes the signal chain as you play so you can tune up quickly and then when you're done you turn it off you're ready to play also if you have sets in between sets you can step on the tuner and then it mutes your signal chain it's actually if you don't play into it it shows you a little negative sign meaning there is no input but you are in mute so when you come back from your break you know that you're ready to go all you have to do is turn off that uh, mute sign and then you're ready to play. Of course we have the sans amp in it. That's what we're known for. That's the heart of the unit. So we have a sans amp in it that uh, with the character control so you can do a lot of different character of the bass amplification uh, world. You know all the way from the old SVT style to like Fender Bassman and uh, you can accommodate jazz sounds or rock sounds. Uh, with overdrive, but what we actually expanded the sans amp with is a boost function and it has a assignable pre or post. So if it's pre boost, it gives you more overdrive for your bass. If it's post, it gives you a level boost. In different situations, you're going to need the different uh, boost control. Then we have a uh, effect section we call the octa filter section. It includes a um, uh, Mutern style uh, envelope follower that you can adjust the amount of Q, like how sharp is the filter. You can adjust the range. And lastly, you can also adjust the balance between the effect and the direct signal. And in front of this, you have a fuzz. You can turn on a fuzz, an octaver, or together the fuzz and octaver. And if you turn off the uh, envelope follower, then you can just get the fuzz and octaver or any combination of that. And this is all goes before the sans amp. So the sans amp acts like an amplifier and it gives its own little character so you can really get some cool sounds out of it. And lastly, we have a pitch shift based chorus that is emulates like when a slightly detuned you know, uh, to uh, uh, bass is slightly detuned, so it's, it's a really rich chorus. And uh, uh, I'm going to show you all the sounds then out of this and how you can combine it. So the really cool thing is about this is you can emulate the uh, uh, Moog keyboard bass. Okay, because you put like the, uh, the compressor on, you get like a very long compression. Then you turn on the, the, the filter, the octave and the fuzz and the chorus. I just have to mix it out. Let that keyboard 
thing. You can even use this almost like a wah pedal. But you can also turn off the um, Q. Then you, you get that uh, more like that. So it's so many possibilities. I didn't even show you the regular Sans M sounds because we have many other videos that covers that range, how you emulate different amplifiers. But I want to show you the new stuff that there is a really cool effect section. Of course, you're not going to use it all the time, but it's nice to have it there. And of course, we are going through the XLR right now. There's a direct out on it. So what you hear on this video is actually the direct sound of the pedal. And you can plug it into a PA, to a studio mixer, and you get that high quality studio sound. There's an XLR uh, ground lift on it too. So if you have ground issues, you can lift it and also a headphone amp built into it. So when you push the headphone in, your regular quarter inch out becomes the stereo. Well, it's actually not true stereo, but it drives both sides of the headphones. And this chorus is so rich that you would think it's actually stereo. The reason I don't like to go into true stereo because sometimes it causes face cancellations. And then, uh, especially with bass, you don't want your bass dropping out. So uh, this is really ready for live or studio. The output of this is, is uh, recording ready. So there's a fair few new features over the guitar versions of it. Most, most notably the tuner that the guitarists were crying out for. Um, I believe one other thing that you've made a change on is the power supply, where this is nine volts. Um, yes. Uh, we had requests that people, we thought this is going to replace their pedal board, but there are people who are still going to have their pedal board with other effects and have the fly rig. And of course, 9 volt is the standard in pedal boards. So we had requests, could we make this with the 9 volt? And we spent some time on some engineering to be able to do that because I don't want to get into the engineering end of it, but it, it's not that simple. But we made it happen, so now we have a 9 volt, but you can still use the old 12 volt power supply if somebody has a 12 volt, it's except a 12 volt power supply or a 9 volt. And just to pick up on something you said, you mentioned that the sands haven't came at the end of the chain. Um, it's shown in the middle or here, so I guess the, the, the signal chain doesn't run as we see it here. Exactly. This is because the layout would be awkward if we put the uh, octa filter right after the, uh, uh, the boost then the sends and push to the right and the foot switch that switches the functions would not align correctly. But the actual analog signal path goes first the input, then there's an input path for active bases, then the compressor. Then the boost, as I said, is assignable before or after the sends amp. But let's assume right now I'm assigning it pre sends amp. So then boost, then um, then the octa filter, then sans amp, and the very last thing is the chorus and the headphone amp. So that's basically the signal pad. So that's the, the standard sort of signal path most people would or should be using. Um, you've got on the sans amp, you've got the character control. Now the sans amp, the bass driver certainly didn't have that. Is this the bass driver sans amp, or this is the VT bass, or it's something new? It's something of a combination. What we wanted to do is that when you put everything in the middle to get a very flat sound, because we have a lot of bass players who want at least start with it or maybe just using a flat sound, but sometimes they want a little warmth in it. So the drive control can still add a little warmth to it or limiting the maximum output of your bass by going into saturation. So this has almost no personality when everything is in the middle, a good starting point. And then the character can emulate the old bass driver sound to the left by creating a notch around 500 hertz, actually it's a 750 hertz, to cut some of the mid-range frequencies so it's not so mid-rangey. And by going to the right, it emulates some of our other pedals that you can have that more aggressive rock tone. We also have a bite switch, which one is basically uh, gives you more of that presence of the bass. 
And the other effects, the, the compressor and, and the chorus in particular, are these from your other single pedals? Yes, sometimes we made slight changes to uh, you know accommodate this format. But yes, they derive from like the chorus is derived from the bass chorus, which is based on a pitch uh, change chorus. And the compressor, we have a uh, individual compressor pedal, also FET based. So yeah, that, that's correct. But the Octa filter is a brand new uh, product for us. Which we'll be seeing in single pedal format sometime? We are thinking about it because it's really cool the fact, as I said, it gives you that analog synth sound, you know, that a lot of bass players are uh, looking for when they do like a envelope filter, you know. And it combines all this in one package that works together, almost like melts together, you know. So I have some ideas if we would put this in an individual pedal, we could expand on this a little more. So it's a possibility, but I'm not promising anything yet. Well, you've delivered what people have asked for. Uh, the bass playing community has been asking for it, so well done on that. Um, I think it's everything that people wanted and a lot more. Um, so uh, I can't wait to get this in stock. It will be in stock with us at Stonebox in our North London store or on our website at www.fxpedal.co.uk. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give us the thumbs up. Please subscribe for more coverage from NAM 2016. Thank you, Andrew, for Cheers. seeing us again and we'll see you next time. Thank you.